Hello, friends. Today we are going to read "Corky Cubs Crazy Caps" by Barbara De Robertis, illustrated by R. W. Alley. Corky Cub played with Connie Cougar every day after school. They were best friends, pals, chums. Those are all the words that you call your friend. Think of one best friend in your think. Think very hard and tell me the tell me the name of your best friend. Who's your best friend? Do you have any? It can be your mom, it can be your dad, it can be your grandma, it can be another kid, and they always wore matching caps. Do you wear matching caps with your best friend? Corky and Connie played catched. Catch. They colored with crayons and they made chocolate chip cookies. But most of all, they liked adding crazy cre creations to their matching caps. One day, Connie. Connie told Corky she had bad news. What bad news do you think she has? Very bad news. Oh no, that's very bad news. Corky held his breath. Connie sniffed. She hiccuped, and then she continued. I'm moving away. Oh no, said Corky. You're my best chum. The two friends were much too sad to eat their chocolate chip cookies. Would you feel sad if your friend is moving away? I would feel very sad. Too soon, moving day came. Corky and Connie wore their favorite caps. They said goodbye, and they both cried as Connie's car drove away. Corky's cu Corky Cub was so lonely. He couldn't play catch, and he did not want to color pictures or make chocolate chip cookies. Call some other chums," said Mama. "I can't." I don't have any other chums," said Corky. "Well, then make me some new chums," said Papa. "Oh, that's easier said than done." <laughs> "I can't. I don't know how to make new chums," said Corky. "Have you ever felt like Corky before?" "Miss Choi have." Corky climbed up the stairs and he crawled into bed. He, how do you think he feels now? The next day, Corky was late for school. His teacher Alpha Betty asked Corky why he looked so sad. "My only chum moved away," said Corky. "That is a problem," said Alpha Betty. "Let's put on our thinking caps." Then she chuckled. <laughs> "Oh, caps! That has given me an idea. Create a new cap, Corky. A friend-making cap. Wear your new cap tomorrow and wear your most." Cheerful smile. That night, Corky created a friend-making cap. He hoped it would give him courage. Mama and Papa helped. They cut out colorful patches. They clipped on pins. They sewed on cool buttons. And they put a crazy pinwheel on the top. Corky wore his new cap as he walked to walk to school the next day, and he practiced smiling. Casey Crow called. Colorful cap, Corky. Caw. Carrie Cat called. Cute cap, Corky. Do you notice that all the? Do you know how Carrie Cat and cute Corky starts the cup sound? They they all start with the letter C. And Calvin Camel caught Corky's arm. Cool cap, dude," said Calvin. Corky walked to, into school wearing his most cheerful smile. Alpha Betty smiled too. In a brave voice, Corky called out, "Hi, everybody!" Corky's classmates all looked up. They saw Corky's cap. Then they went crazy. They wanted to know how he made it. "Bring a cap tomorrow," said Corky. "I can help you make cool caps too." "Oh, that's a very cool friend. I would love to have a friend like Corky. Would you?" The next day, Corky carried two big sacks to school. He was so excited. In one sack were colorful patches, clip-on pins, cool buttons, and crazy pinwheels. In the other sack was a carton of Corky's tasty, tasty chocolate chip cookies. Who likes chocolate chip cookies? I do. Corky's class made very creative caps. Then they ate tasty chocolate chip cookies. Everyone thanked Corky Cub, and Corky said, "You're welcome." 
Then he smiled without even trying. May we wear our crazy caps every Friday? The class asked their teacher. We could have a crazy cap club," said Corky. "What a cool idea!" said Alphabetty. So children started having crazy cap club meetings every Friday. They wore their crazy caps. They made chocolate chip cookies, and Corky had more chums than he could count. Corky still missed Connie Cougar, of course. So he sent a cool package. "Dear Connie," he wrote on the card. Here's a picture of me in my new crazy cap. I made a crazy cap for you too. Chums forever, Corky Cub. Connie loved her crazy cap. She quickly wrote back to Corky. Thank you, Corky. You're still my best chum. And guess what? I can come to visit you this summer. Corky Cub and his old chum had a great visit, and Corky and his new chums invited Connie to join their club. Everyone in the Crazy Cap Club had a terrific time that summer, and for many summers after. The end. That's such a nice story. Well, I hope you had fun reading the animal antics, Corky Cup's Crazy Caps, and hopefully that could give you some insight in how about how to make friends. Insight means idea. Bye, friends.